guys to it. It's just one day. I know. So I've got nothing to worry about. No. I'm positive about that. Look, I haven't given her a second thought. Good. Because we are so close to the finish line. Robert, I really could do without another lecture. I know there's a box in here somewhere. It's all right, Rita. There's no rush. Are you going round to Beth and Kirk's with everyone? For what? Well, they're all getting ready over there before the wedding. You'd have to be Sherlock Holmes to find anything in this place. Uh, no. Not your cup of tea. Well, actually, I haven't been invited. I'm sure they won't mind one. No, to the wedding. I, I, I haven't been invited to the wedding. Oh, 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 I mean, it's fine. You know, I haven't been at the factory very long, so... Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. And it does help when you're going out with one of the bosses. <laughs> Found it! Uh -huh. The last one. Great, what do I owe you? Uh, £1.50, love, please. Yeah, it's on me. Oh, no, don't be daft. No, 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 I insist. It's my contribution to the nuptials. Oh, well, thank you. That's really kind of you. Hey, I'll try and smuggle you a piece of wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> you Bye, love. Bye. Aren't you been to one wedding? You've been to them all. What do you mean you can't serve me? I'm afraid it's just not possible. Well, I only want a cappuccino. The cafe's closed. Oh, really? So what are the Dungaree Divas doing here, then? We were invited. It's a wedding brunch for Carla. <clears throat> Don't you mean a shower? Roy, please let me throw her out. That won't be necessary. Oh, I'm going to take a minute. Let's get rid of her. It's the principle. If I serve her, I have to serve everyone. Hello. Hey. What's she doing there? I, I was just explaining to Tracy. You don't have to explain anything, Roy. This is a private function. Please leave. Oh, bless him. Takes his daddy role really seriously. Right, well, I know when I'm not wanted. She don't miss much. <laughs> Good luck today, Carla. Luck doesn't come into it. Do you know, these flowers are an embarrassment. I could have done a much better job. Thought it was a tortilla dip. Yeah. <laughs> right. What do you reckon to this dress? Um, yeah, it looks fab. Um, the waist and the top bit might need taking in slightly. But... Just a smidge. Mm, that'll teach you for having such a trim figure. Mm. As long as it doesn't look frumpy. Oh, please. That frock is a classic. Here, get this down, yeah? Oh, I shouldn't really. All the more reason to do it. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Oh, well, it wasn't so much a hygiene inspection, but a full-on raid. Yeah, yeah. Well, these things are sent to try us. I had to go all the way to the precinct. Anyway, the um, upshot is we've uh, pushed back the reception and the new venue is in crew. Yeah, I'm uh, whizzing the address over to you now. But it's a bit out in the sticks, so your driver should probably set off shortish. Oh, no, absolutely. We're more than happy to accept the increased delivery charge. Oh, you are a star. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, Tracy, what was all that about? Uh, nothing to worry your pretty little head about. You're not going to go and mush on me, are you? I shall attempt to contain myself. And I, I just wanted to say, in case we don't have the opportunity after the wedding, that uh, Bailey would have enjoyed seeing you so content. Right. Any more Prosecco go in? You must be missing her today. I miss her every day. Actually, Kathy, I'm glad I've got you on your own. Oh, okay. 
you finally made it, eh? Yeah, sorry, I got held up. Uh, can I have a word? Yeah. Well, stressed. Who's cried off now? Well, there's been an issue with the flowers. What sort of issue? We're on the way to crew. I kind of need a favour. Actually, it's more than a favourite. It's more of a, a pledge stroke blood pact. Okay. I promised Haley that I'd always keep an eye on our Royston and... Yeah, um, yeah, I have noticed a certain protectiveness. Soon I won't be here. But I will be. I won't let you down. The thought never, ever meant to meet. Thank you. Yeah, it gets worse. Apparently the driver's stuck in a four-mile traffic jam. I'm sorry, I'm confused. How is this even possible? Well, according to the florist, my beautifully well-spoken PA named Hermione phoned them with a change of venue an hour ago. Which is really weird, because I don't have a beautifully well-spoken PA named Hermione. Are you guys going to join this party or what? Now, wait a sec. What's the big secret? Uh, Michelle's just dropping some input into my speech. Uh, 